What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday morning. We have got Inzaghi, Stoichkovic, and Raul. We've got phenomenal, phenomenal finishing Inzaghi. This is a disappointing pack. I'm not going to lie to you, lads. I never do. I call it as I see it. Yes, there is a time when Inzaghi will be Sfia. He is a very, very solid player. But at the end game of eFootball24, I just feel like that the next big kind of cards are going to come on the 12th of September and onwards. I don't feel that these cards are going to be game changing. I don't feel that these cards are going to be, you know, any better than what you already have. Um, but listen, they'll still be fun cards. I mean, it depends. Like you could make a, a fool of me by saying, yeah, well, look, you know, fool on you. And Zaggy has got 10 goals in three games for me against top division players. Yes, it is potentially that way because Inzaghi does have everything. But in terms of a pack, I do feel like that there are other players that are still yet to come. That was a lovely little fake uh, animation there. But I do feel that like Raul and Inzaghi and them, while they have good stats, I do feel that there are better packs around the corner. So that's the only thing I will say. That's not to say that they can't beast for you. That's not to say that they can't do well for you. We also have, before I get to the builds here, we still have this ongoing as well. So you should have about six now if you just played against the AI. And of course, if you've just logged in every day um, and it depends on your look. Let me know in the comments below what your look has been. On my, my own free-to-play account, I've already got two legends, which has been really, really fun. Um, and obviously, they make a huge difference on my free-to-play account where I've spent zero coins. So yeah, um, let me know how you've been getting on. So the phenomenal finishing in Zaggy, it comes in a pack of players such as this, which are national team attackers. We are actually going to start with Inzaghi. Pedro Neto looks really decent as well, right? He's definitely got good stats, acceleration, balance, 26 levels as well. Tight possession is a bit of a concern, but you can get that up fairly high. And he does have some nice skills as well. Double touch is all he's missing from his player skills to have advanced double touch. So if you want to keep that in mind, the rest of the players, yeah, listen, at this stage, lads, they're just not going to compare to what you already have. If you've been playing the game for like a month, yes, any of these players will, you know, be, be good. That's the thing, man. It, depending on when you get the, when you download eFootball now, or when you drop back in if you haven't played in a while, Raul and Inzaghi, you know, and and even Stoichkovic can be, can be in-game players for you. But, you know, when you've been playing the game a long time, I don't think that this pack is really worth it, right? So we're going to start with Inzaghi in a very simple build for him. He's actually quite a decent card. He's got heading, he's got first-time shot, one-touch pass, phenomenal finishing, area superiority and fighting spirit, chip shot control, doesn't have outside curler, which I would give him, even though you're going to be, you know, mostly inside the box with him. He can only play CF off the rip. He can't play anywhere else. This is the build that we've gone for him. And now eFootballDB, lads, the guys have told me that they are working on a lot of new features and a brand new design for eFootball25. You can see there that the form button is in, the manager button is in, and also it's going to have a new layout, a new design. The boosters are next. Um, so yeah, and that's going to be pushed to app then as well. But yeah, this is the build that we've gone for here. You can see down from the left, shooting five, dribbling 10, dex 11, lower body eight, and aerial strength three. So you've got your speed, acceleration, kick and power, balance, stamina, all where you need them to go with the actual player booster itself. And then offensive awareness is maxed out. Ball control is going to be at 90. Finishing is going to be at 90. It's a very simple build with the manager. And I think it's the champs is the manager that's built into this one. Um, so yeah, it, it, listen, any of these players are going to be good. But it just depends on where they're at in this stage of the game, right? His booster is obviously going to be speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina. So with the manager boost and this actual booster here, which is the agility plus two, he's going to be getting a plus five to those stats essentially, right? Now, the other cards that we have here is going to be Stoichkovic, who's here. And this is his build. If you want to take a look at this, it's a fairly decent card as well. Now, I think the biggest problem with Stoichkovic, lads, is uh, not only the fact that I pronounce his name horribly, but the biggest problem with him is that he's a classic number 10. Classic number 10s are a lot harder to actually play with and a lot harder for the AI. The AI can sometimes make unbelievable runs, but it is, I think, a little bit kind of like uncoded. Like they don't really make the runs compared to at the start when they really buffed classic number 10s. You know, they've changed the runs a little bit. Now, all again he's missing is flip flap and you will be able to have advanced double touch if you're into that and you like that. Double touch, so control off the rip, long range shooting, one touch pass, true passing. Doesn't have low lofted or weighted, which is strange for a classic number 10, but he does have the booster and that is the build. So, as I said, that is the build there. 4, 4, 3, 13, 11, and that's going to give you that build that you see on screen there. So again, it's a fairly decent card. You're going to have your speed, acceleration, balance, tight possession, finishing, um, is going to be a little poor, but you know, you'll have your offensive awareness. It's a fairly okay card, to be honest with you. And then last but not least, we're not going to spend any time really on Raul. You know what you're getting with Raul, lads. He's kind of an SS that's going to dart in and dart out. He's a whole player. He can play AMF, SS, CF, left wing, left mid, 
Very nice card. I honestly don't know why they didn't release this card during the Euros because I definitely feel that Raul is like an underrated gem. He's probably the pick of this pack with Inzaghi, even though there's only three players to pick from. A lot of the cards that you see, you know, with Raul, he's actually a very unique card because he's got first time shot outside curler. He's got sombrero, cut behind and turn, heading, chip shot, control, long range shooting and acrobatic finishing. Very nice player skills, very nice player stats. Obviously, you have to throw on the main ones on him. He doesn't have one-touch pass. He doesn't have outside, or he doesn't have long-range curler. Um, there are a couple that he needs to put on. I would also probably put on gamesmanship on him as well. He's one card that really does benefit it because of his player ID. Um, but again, it's a very nice card. It's just not where it needs to be at this stage in the game. That's all there is to it, boys. There's no you know hate on these cards. It's just we're at the end game of eFootball 24 now. And these cards are just a dime a dozen, man. They're, it's it's like Michael Olisi and Calafiori. Brilliant cards, brilliant boosters, play exceptionally well on the pitch. But there's about 10 different cards that can do that job for you. And it's the same with Raul. There's about 20 strikers that you're going to have to choose between if you've got a fairly set team as of now. And if you don't, then obviously that's going to be different. But other than that, lads, you still have your free login bonus, as I saw there, as I showed you there. This is going to be gone on Thursday if you haven't got for those. And this is going to be gone on the following Thursday um, as well. So it is going to be interesting to see how they actually up update the game and see what they're actually going to do with the game going forward. I am intrigued by it because I definitely think it does need a lot of changes. We talked about it. But until then, lads, we will be back streaming in just an hour or two. We'll be on, we'll be live, and we will hopefully go through and get to Division 1 and Beast a little bit more. Until next time, I will talk to you a little bit. Hope to see you in the stream later. We will have some giveaways coming soon, so I'll have some information on that in the giveaway today. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.